Hey guys, I'm Esther from S Lashes, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to do a patch test. So before we get started, this is going to be a really quick video on how you can properly do a patch test for a client. A patch test is done to see if the client has an allergic reaction to the lash glue. So cyanoacrylate is the ingredient in lash glue that most people will have a reaction to. Now, some people are allergic to carbon black, which is also in lash glue. In that case, they'll probably know they're allergic to it because they won't be able to use most mascaras and or eyeliners. So if somebody mentions that to you, you can probably assume that they are allergic to carbon black, which is really rare. More often than not, people will have a reaction to the active ingredient cyanoacrylate in the lash glue. Now, I've heard a lot of people putting lash glue a little drop behind the ear, a little drop on the inside of the arm. Now you don't want to do that because lash glue should never be coming in contact with the skin. It will react with the skin. And just because your skin reacts to the lash glue doesn't mean that you're going to have a reaction to it just by having it near your eye. Because when you're applying lash extensions properly, none of the lash glue should be getting on the lid or on the skin. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can patch test for lash glue on your clients. All right, so the proper way to do a patch test on your client is to actually apply three to four eyelash extensions per eye. So of course you are going to have to put on your eye pads and you are going to have to um, tape down those lower lashes because you're applying a couple of lash extensions. So you can go ahead and just get three to four classic lashes. You don't want these to be super noticeable because the clients can be leaving with these. So just pick some lashes that aren't too long and just as you would in a classic set, you can apply three to four lashes per eye and just make sure that they're not super noticeable, but this is the best way to do your patch test is to just apply those lash extensions and wait 24 hours to see if there's a reaction. Now I know a lot of lash artists actually don't even bother with patch testing. If you are going to opt out of doing that on your client, especially if they've had extensions before they're ready to go, you just want to make sure that is in your waiver that the client is signing the, away their right basically to have a patch test done and say, Saying that if there is an allergic reaction they are aware that they decided not to have the patch test that's something they decided not something that you ever recommend for your clients so just keep that in mind as well all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below if you have any questions about this or any other videos that you want to see around lash extensions just hit me up in that comment section below